Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, I'm putting. I have my headphones on today because I want to use this mic so I can speak a little softer. Because right now uh, there are a lot of people in the house, so I'm going to try to make sure I can do that and also convey my information. So I'm starting this new project right now where I want to. I mean, I love science. I genuinely really appreciate science. I love learning science. So I actually like coming up with science questions because I taught a lot in undergrad and I think it's a really good thing to do. Um, so I decided, since I do have time right now, that I would post uh, an MCAT question a day kind of thing. Uh, and these questions, uh, I'm going to range from biology to chemistry to physics to psychology slash sociology. Um, you know, maybe even some biochem. All of the stuff that's included on the new MCAT. I took the old MCAT, so I was only used to biology, chemistry, and physics, and obviously verbal. But we're, I'm not going to go into verbal um, uh, I'll only be sticking to the sciences. And in this case, I'll try to incorporate some psych and soch, but I, again, never took the test with those, so, you know, fair warning. Um, most of my background, however, is mostly in biology. I personally very much appreciate biology. <laughs> I think it's phenomenal. I also think chemistry and physics are super cool. It's just harder to make questions about them. I will do my best, though. I'm pretty good at making questions, and I try to show you the conceptual ideas behind the topic. It's very different. A lot of people think you have to memorize a lot of stuff for the MCAT. Not true at all. If you can memorize everything... Um, that's great, but I'll tell you the way you remember things for a long time, you know, stuff that I'd learned from my MCAT, I still remember, and you should still remember as you go into med school or whatever your health path is, um, and that's because I learned it conceptually, so I'll show you the conceptual behind, uh, conceptual nature behind many of these questions, I'll obviously give you the question, I'll give you a chance to think about it, you can pause the video, and then I'll go over how to conceptually solve it in each of the videos I post from here on out. All right. And, um, you know, I just want you to know where I'm coming from. So the reason I'm doing this is because obviously I love teaching, I love science, and I honestly thought the MCAT is a great way to evaluate that. Um, it's a good, it's a good test, you know, it's not a good, it's not a test you want to take, but it's something you have to take. And when you do it, you do realize it teaches you a lot of things. It teaches you how to learn, it teaches you where you're weak, it teaches you how all the sciences fit together to create the fascinating intricacy that is the human body. All the questions will be made by me, my, by me, so you know none of this copyright infringement. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, and I and I have done this for a while, so I'm hoping they'll be pretty difficult questions. You know, if anything, I like to give questions that are more difficult than usual because then you're over prepared, which is always better to do. So if anything, my questions will be tougher, but they will be fair game for the MCAT. And you know, if you have something you're struggling with, let me know. If you have uh, something that you want me to try to explain, let me know. I love to do this things. I genuinely do love to break concepts down. There's a lot of great things happening in biology, chemistry, and physics right now. The Nobel Prizes came out a month ago. It's phenomenal. So, you know, I'd love to break those down as well. So with that being said, that's where these videos are going to be headed, and I hope I can keep this going for uh, quite some time. All right, see you guys in the next video where we'll start with the first question.